Yo, what is going on, you deli bird that did not wash their hands before coming out of the bathroom? Today, we are playing some games with Turbo Picaram. This is my take on Picaram. I think this is the way I want to play Picaram with the release of Sword and Shield. I want to go second. I want to get turn one full blitz, start hitting my opponent hard and fast, and just take advantage of, of what Picaram can do when it gets a turn one full blitz. So this list is definitely more aggressive list. We got the E-Radars in here. I've got Acro Bikes. Uh, of course, we got the four Professor's Research. Um... And yeah, there's not too much else to say on the list. There's, of course, Quick Balls and a one Tapu Koko V. I also have the one of a Rangaroo to uh, help us save important cards that we want for later um, and not just Sycamore everything away. Uh, Professor's Research it away. I always say Sycamore. You're going to catch me saying Sycamore pretty much every time. Professor's Research, it's just Sycamore, man. It's just Sycamore. I have two Giant Charms in here because making your Picaroms bigger is better. And uh, yeah, that's it. Currently opting for Pokemon Catcher over Custom Catchers. Just been feeling pretty good being able to be a little bit more aggressive uh, with the... It is a flip, but if we get that heads, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm sitting at with my Picaram list currently. Choosing to go second, looking for the turn one full blitz. Let's go ahead. Let's see how it runs. Into our first game here. That was Psychic Fairy fighting Metal. I have no idea what we're up against here, but we're going to find out shortly. Lost the coin flip. Hopefully that means our opponent chooses to go first. Yes, that's what we want. We want to go second. Um, that would have been a pretty good hand to start with. That would have given us literally everything we needed to get initially going. Who knows if we would have got the turn one full blitz off it, but uh, would have been a decent start. Let's see what we end up with here now. Not quite as good, but not bad. Got the Zerora and the Orangaru. Got a quick ball to get the Coco Prism. And we definitely want to get the Coco Prism with our first quick ball as opposed to something else because, well, I guess we'd start with the Acrobike because we do play E radars, which can get the other stuff. It is a Hitmon Chan deck we are up against. Okay, that is not good for us. Um, yeah, if there's a bad matchup for Pikaram, I feel like Hitmonchan has to be one of the bad matchups, right? Like, how do we beat this? It's This guy's going to be hitting us with that hit and run. He's going to have a Diancy down. He's going to have a Stadium that gives him plus 30 damage. Definitely winnable. Um, definitely annoying. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so we started the Zerora. We need him in play anyways. Get him out here like this is fine. Um, rest of the hand, we got the draw supporter. We got a Ranguru as well. That gives us a little bit of extra draw support through that Wisdom. Um, and it looks like they're going to retreat the Oracorio. No, they're going to leave in the active. All right, we're knocking that thing out for sure. Going to start with the Acro Bike here. Uh, Stadium Nav is perfect. Get us that Thunder Mountain a little bit closer to that turn one full blitz. It's in the deck. Perfect. I'm um, going to go ahead and quick ball away a lightning. Grab myself the Coco Prism, like I said, because we do play E Radar, so we do have more access to like to Dene and stuff like that. Coco Prism goes down. Cynthia into the deck. We're so close to the turn one. And I think we got it with that draw. I can go ahead and E-Radar our way Lightning and Acrobike. Uh, grab Pikaram into Dene. Or Pikaram and something else. I want a full blitz to, full blitz to something else. Uh, I don't want to give up too much Lightning energy here. Could give up one of the extra ones to keep the Acrobike though. Yeah, so we're going to go like this. I'm going to grab, uh, I think, two Peaks. Uh, oh, we didn't grab. We don't have a... Oh, we don't have a... I want to definitely knock this out. Actually, so we're going with Peak to Dene here. We definitely want to knock out our opponent's active here. And that means we need a... One of those. Take the quick ball. Bench. Um, dance. Need an E-Power. Need an E-Power. Um, yeah, energy switch. Definitely want that E-Power here. Take this knockout. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the energy back on top of the deck because I don't want to run out of energy. Uh, I do play the 12, um, which is a little bit more than the average. Uh, maybe we can go ahead and quick pull this away. I'm going to go ahead and grab another peek around, I think. Or we could get the Coco. Um, Coco V. Well, we already have the Zerora, and it's already taking the one shot. I think we grab the other peak. Have the option for that. Go, go for like a turn two tag bolt. Uh, definitely not the option of the turn two tag bolt. All right, we need a E power here. There it is. Plenty of E-Power. Uh, they heard us loud and clear, and that's it. The turn one full blitz is like I said, this is what we want to do. Turn one full blitz with this list. Our opponent goes first. No attack, no support. Turn one full blitz. All right, let's see if they can handle it. And now we're, we're, we're so set up, we're so ready to go to handle anything. I mean, they are still playing uh, Hitmonchan. They are into Sledgehammer turn, and they probably play Sledgehammer. There's no reason not to play Sledgehammer. If you're playing Fighting Energy in your deck, Sledgehammer is usually should be in your deck, so... That's a little scary. We could get Sledgehammered here, but they have to find it. They already attached, so it's not happening. Not happening anymore, unless they play E-Switch, I guess. Uh, it's just going to be the hit and run from our opponent. I think we're going to go for... Ooh, I would like it if they use Fion here. They probably should not use Fion here. They might send up the Fion here. Yeah, we're looking for a Tag Bolt this turn. I'm looking at Tag Bolt. I want to stay aggressive. Going to throw out E-Power, E-Power, and then probably just Dead A change immediately. Maybe Fion to push something else up off their bench. 
Um, there's Dianti. We want to get rid of that guy. Super annoying with the uh, plus 20 damage we're going to be taking every turn. So we want to tag bolt. We want to knock out. Are active if we have to. Ooh, so they're going to give us these two. That is fine with me. Uh, we could go for the catcher to make the Dianti into the active, though. That sounds good to me as well. Okay, force the Dianti. Yep, definitely want to take that guy out. He's super annoying. Um, e power. E power. Um, check my support account. I think I'm just going to dead eye change. Uh, we're really close to being able to tag, but we just need an E switch. There's the energy switch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw back Catcher. I think I want access to that the most. We're going to go attach. We're going to go retreat. I'm going to do energy switch off of the Zerora here, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to tag bolt. Knock out this Dianzi, and I'm going to knock out... I guess this guy. Excuse me. Yeah, that guy does more damage, but I guess it only does it to a bench Pokemon, so maybe I should have knocked out something else. Nah, it's fine. All right, we are two prize cards away from winning the game. I don't think our opponent can knock us out this turn, so this one is basically over. Uh, we just kind of need to let it happen. I don't think they have anything to do. The Mew is a turn late from our opponent. We would have gone for a catcher that up and then full blitz it, and then set up for the tag bolt for the next turn, but uh, yeah, the fact that they whiffed is a little bit better for us. I'm just going to go ahead and push up a... Uh, Uh, it's Aurora, I guess. They could maybe knock out Dedenne. I don't know how they could knock out Dedenne, but they could maybe do it, so I don't want to send up Dedenne. Hit and run, probably to the Mew here. Uh, we are definitely going to gust this guy. Oh, no, it's going to be to the other Hitmonchan. Okay. Um, Acrobike first. Grab the catcher. Oof. Are we not going to be able to move here? That is going to stink. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quick ball away Zerora. Grab the Coco. Four energy in deck and an energy switch. About a third of our deck. Decent odds. Just gonna throw Coco back. That is a that works. I guess that that technically works. All right, gonna make this peek around beefy. Um, no need to gust up the Mew anymore. Yeah, just go ahead and research. We lose all of our gust effects, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, we get to attack this turn, which is all we wanted to do. And full blitz, knock out one more knockout to go. Uh, we'll see if our opponent draws anything to stop us. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the deck. I don't want to deck out. <laughs> um, I'm going to avoid decking out here by not overdrawing cards out of our deck. I'm just not going to just gonna leave it at five. We do have a Cynthia left, but still, you never know. They could play a lot of P Lily's Poke Dolls. We are kind of out of gust effects. So, nope, just going to be the hit and run. 140. Mew's going to come to the active. We're going to take that knockout as well. And that will be game. Our opponent is all done here. Full Blitz, knock out the Mew. Six prize cards. And, yeah, that's it. That's the... Uh, the deck and effect in that first one we'll see if we can't pull this off again in the second all right into another one we go looking to go like once again like i said ooh, good choice in coin there my opponent we did win we do not want to go first we want to go second we want to turn one full blitz we want our opponent to do as little as possible on their first turn Ooh, the best starter in the deck the coco v and this hand is pretty ridiculous we got the stadium nav yeah this hand's looking good uh quick ball can find us the uh coco prism then we have an E-Radar, which hopefully we can use with our top deck. Hopefully we'll discard away our top deck plus this Lightning. Get the Picaram and something else. Quick Ball, Coco Prism. Oh, we don't have anything to Quick Ball. We have to Quick Ball away the Big Charm. So I'd have to decide if I want to get rid of Big Charm or not to make that decision. Mm, I don't know. Big Charm is pretty good on Picaram. We're up against the... It's either a Mewtwo box or it's Malamar and Ganadel. It's one of those two. See this Latios? There's a treasure. I'm leaning towards yeah, Malamar or Mewtwo... Malamar. Did I say Malamar and Ganadel? Mewtwo Malamar. Potentially was Mewtwo Box. Now that we see the treasure and the Trevnor, definitely Mewtwo Malamar. Mew3 Malamar. Cherish Ball. Yeah, they're off to a decent start for going first, though. They got an NK down. They got the Latios with the free retreat in the active. We're hoping to full blitz one shot that on our turn. There is that Mew3 I was talking about. And maybe a Dead Eye Change? Yep, there is the Dead Eye Change. Looking for. Oof, they had to give up Malamar there, though, which is definitely something you don't want to do. They're going to be looking for another NK and at least a Psychic Energy attachment to the uh, the Mew3 there. And then, then that's a pretty good turn one for the Mew3 Malamar deck going first, getting all that done. Um, yeah, then we're looking for turn one full blitz, knock out Latios. I think I do want to try and get the big charm on my dude peak. But uh, getting Coco Prism is definitely a little bit more important. So we're going to prioritize Coco Prism. So if I have to give up, the, I'll probably have to give up this. Unless I could E-Radar away the Lightning on the top deck, get Picaram and Zerora. Quick ball away Zerora. If we have both Zeroras in the deck, 
and then get the Coco Prism. That would be the way to go, I guess. Top deck is it. Ooh, we want the E-Power as well, though, because we want to be able to kill this. Um, let's start with this. Let's see how the Stadium Nav goes. Oof, it's close. All right. Only, oh, there is two Zoros. There's only one Picarom. Oh, no. We are just missing attackers here. Picarom and Raichu and Raichu are prized. That is not good. Um, okay. We have... Three more quick balls. There's a good chance we see another quick ball. I think I'm going to go with get Zerora and Picaram. Then use the E-Power um, to make sure I can knock out this Latios. Yeah, because then I can maybe save the other E-Powers to take a one-shot with a Tag Ball later on. Mm, sounds pretty good to me. E-Radar. Get rid of this and this. Get ourselves Picaram and Zerora. Thundermount. Electro Power, Pikara, Big Charm, Zerora, Dead A Change, draw some cards, looking pretty good, I think we actually have the turn one full blitz already, quick ball away, like, grab ourselves the Coco Prism Star, um, throw him down, attach, Dance of the Ancients, there we go, we are all set up, ready to go with that full blitz, um, I kind of want to save the E-Power, actually. So this thing... Yeah, I kind of just want to save the E-Power, I think. Also saves the Energy Switch to give us some more options. So I think we're just chilling with the hand. Full Blitz, knock out this Latios. Get ourselves two prize cards. Um, load up the Coco, get him ready to go. An Electro Charger is definitely something that I would definitely consider adding to this build of Picaram. Um, allows us to be a little bit more aggressive with our E-Powers, but then still having more e-powers for the late game to pull off bigger damage combos um so that's definitely something i would consider adding to this uh to be around electro charger something i've thought about before definitely would consider adding um i guess i maybe could have e-switched this energy up to picaram i don't know if they do use i'm, I'm thinking about here if i want to play around the uh the house gx attack from gengar mimikyu uh, but i could just retreat and hit him with coco like if they replace my stadium with a chaotic swell i could retreat to coco and just hit him with that Thunderbolt, and that would be, like, fine. Yeah, that would be, like, just fine. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what they got here, how, what they're actually going to be able to pull off. Um, like, Latios, you using Tag Purge isn't that good. I mean, we got this guy on the bench. We got this guy on the bench. Um, yeah, they don't have a ton of great options for attacks here. I have no idea what they just grabbed there. It is a Giratina and Garchomp. Okay, so they are playing a very interesting build of Mewtwo Melma. I have yet to see this guy be in a Mewtwo Malamar deck. There is the unit energy though, or the Aurora energy, not unit energy. <laughs> it does provide multiple types of energy, but it is an Aurora energy. Discarding the Psychic, they can use a Psychic Recharge now. The only attack they can use though, I think would be the Pale Moon GX, which is not very good right here. Um, yeah, I think they're just gonna have to like retreat to Dedede and pass. I don't see, I don't know what they would use with this guy. They can maybe pull something else out of the hand. Currently, linear attack looks like the play. All right, here he comes. To the active comes the Mew and Mewtwo. Um, what attack are they going to use? Let's find out. We can definitely look to set up um, Tag Ball here. They used Static Shock with my man Dedene. All right. Definitely not ideal. All right, I think we're going to go to try and get all of our E-Powers and knock this thing out. Um, and if we whiff, we just hit it really hard um, so it doesn't hurt. I'm gonna go attach, e switch, e switch, or attach, e switch up. Look, I can look for the tag bolt play as well. E power and Cynthia. Put the energy back in the deck, save the sycamore. I'm not gonna overly commit to it, but if we get close to it, definitely look to do it. Um, start with Acrobike. Take another catcher. Um, we could knock out this Malamar. That sounds really good to me. It would pretty much trap them to having to use this Mewtwo. And if we can tag Bolt and knock, hit this thing for 170 as well, the game is pretty much over. So, catch him. I'm going to quick ball away this. Grab myself uh, the second Zerar. We don't need him anymore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this catcher back on top of the deck for later. Grab a lightning energy. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. Go ahead and get our look for that energy switch. There it is. Switch from this guy to this guy. And we can tag ball, like I said. Um, do you have a Dedene? Oh, we're out of Dedene's. Basically don't need either of those search cards anymore. Um, yeah, we just, they don't, they're not going to find us anything. Um, and then, yeah, tag ball, hit the Mewtwo. Their only attacker set up. It has 170 damage on it now. This guy hits for 200. That's basically game. I don't see what our opponent can possibly do here. 
This guy's worth three prize cards. We still have a great catcher left to bring into the active if we need to. Took out their only Malamar in play, which means they don't have anywhere to go now. And I don't know. This is looking good. This is looking real good for us. I, I am. I have no idea what our opponent's going to do from here. I guess we'll find out shortly. Here it comes. Mewtwo, Mew and Mewtwo back to the active. They could GX attack. Nope, but they don't have the extra energy to heal all the damage. They won't even knock us out because we have the big charm. Man, this is looking really good for us. I don't know. We'll see if our opponent can pull something off. Uh, tag purge? Nope, because then we just attack with this guy. I'm trying to come up with something. I can't come up with anything. They could GG end, but still same thing. We just full blitz knockout or we do this knockout. There's the heal with an Ndidi, so that's going to get it down to... 150 damage on it doesn't make a difference yet they're gonna need a little bit more healing than that they need like a mallow and lana here and then that would be annoying a mallow and lana here would be a little bit annoying but uh this indeedy not gonna be enough that's for sure they would need like a mallow and lana here to move to the bench and then they basically have a zero card hand because they just used this treasure to go find gengar and mimic you um yeah i guess they could knock this out and hope we just don't have the energy right maybe they have a reset stamp in hand uh, or a Marnie to even like, put us one card lower. Um, hope we don't have the uh, the energy to knock us out with the Tapu Koko V. Um, and they'd also have to replace our stadium as well, I guess. So they have to find that. Yeah, they're just in a rough spot. We're in a really good spot. Um, I don't see us losing this game at all. But maybe they have something up their sleeve. Maybe they have something. There's the research. They could retreat to this guy, actually, and just use the House GX and slow us down for a turn. I guess that's okay. Um... It doesn't really set up for them to win the game at all, really. Um, we're just going to hit this thing really hard, and then they're going to have two things that have been hit really hard that can be knocked out for us to win the game with our three remaining prize cards. So I think they need more than that, but we'll see uh, See if they have anything else. Um, they can retreat it. Is that what they're going to go for? What do they got? Tingly return. Oh, the tingly return. I did not expect that at all. Okay, we might be in a little bit of trouble, not gonna lie. Might be in a little bit of trouble. I did not see the tingly return coming. That was a big brain play right there. That that throws me off just a tad. Um, yeah, let's hit him with some wisdom here. Get rid of the Pokemon catcher. Oof, another trainer card anyways. I think I'm just gonna pass. I mean, I could bring up this guy. How many switches do they have left actually? How many did I see there? Yeah, two switch left, probably. What am I looking at? Missing two E-powers for this guy to take the knockout. All right, I'm still feeling good. Oh, we can play the energy switch, actually. Save this energy onto the Zerora. Um, and pass. All right. Let's see what our opponent's got. We're currently out of range of uh, Poltergeist knocking us out. So they still need to come up with a, an attack. Poltergeist doesn't work here. Uh, actually, no, we're still in a great spot. That did, I didn't expect that, but so it kind of threw me off guard a little bit. But uh, I don't think it actually does anything. <laughs> I think we're still in a ridiculously good spot. Did absolutely nothing. Uh, except uh, mean they lose a turn slower, basically. Maybe two turns slower. We're looking to win the game on this turn, or our last turn. But now we're going to have to win the game maybe next turn or the turn after. If we get the double E power, we just win next turn, knocking this thing out with uh, the Thunderous Bolt. But if we have to wait one more turn, that's also kind of just fine for us. I don't really care. We're chilling, I guess. Uh, should be no problem. Uh, to wait one extra turn. Yeah, not a big deal. There's the hood on the Gengar Mimikyu. The second energy now. Um, do they have anything else? Down three research. I'm sure they play other draw supporters. There's a like Marnie. That's fine with me. This does mean we could draw four trainer cards and our opponent could get the one shot. I think that's pretty unlikely, but you never know. Yeah, there's two energy. Nothing else to work with though. So I guess we're in a little bit of trouble. Theoretically, should be fine. Poltergeist, 100 damage. Have the catcher for next turn to bring this thing up potentially. Uh, there's an acro. Let's start with that. Take the energy, I think. Don't really want reset stamp. Hit him with that wisdom. See what we get. It's another catcher. All right, I'm going to attach here. I'm going to retreat my Pikaram. Save him for later. And I'm just going to hit him with that uh, Thunderous Bolt for 200 damage. Uh, that's fine with me. They can hit us for 150 if they want with the Poltergeist. They have no Malamar set up. We chased off that one Malamar that they were able to set up early on in the game. Got rid of that. Don't have to worry about that anymore. They're in trouble, man. They're in trouble. We'll see what, We'll see if they got anything else. There's the Ndidi heal. That's not going to be enough. Um, Malamar would be okay. They really just need to have a non-tag team when they're active, but we do have those Pokemon catchers 
to try and bring it back into the active after it makes its way to the bench. Um, yeah, I'm liking I'm liking our chances here. I'm really liking our chances here. I keep saying it, but there's nothing else really to say as our opponent is struggling to just... They're making plays where it's like they don't win the game. Um, they basically are just kind of stalling to lose the game slower. So uh, there's not too much for me to commentate on here or talk about. There's pretty much no win condition for our opponent here. Um, unless unless they have something else that I haven't seen yet, right? Here we go. Switch into Giratina Garchomp. Gonna hit us with that uh, linear attack onto our Picaram, I assume. Maybe put some damage on the Zeraora, so make sure that thing can be knocked out when it comes up. Uh, there's a big charm for the K Tina Chomp. Big charm, super good card. Um, yeah, they don't knock us out yet. We do have the big charm ourselves. Let's check out these Pokemon catchers. There's a heads. Bring him here. Retreat into the Squeakaram and knock out with the full blitz. Last three prize cards. Finally, it took us a little while, but we did it. Knocking out this Gengar and Mimikyu and winning this game with the Pikaram. Two very fast games, but that's the idea of this Pikaram build. Go second. Full blitz. Tag ball. Full blitz. Who knows? Knock them out. Draw the prizes as soon as possible. Win the game. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.